Hey guys, if you're looking to get Windows XP games like The Sims 1 and all those old games working on your Windows 10 computer without compatibility mode, this is the video for you. Also to add, if you're playing The Sims 1, this way of doing it, you can install any of The Sims expansions in whatever order that you want. You don't have to have them all installed. You only need, if you have only one Sims 1 game expansion, you can use just that one just fine. Um, so that's good news, right? So there are two steps to get this working on your Windows 10 computer. And step one is to first download the file into the description um, and then put it in this corresponding spot. The file is called secdrv system file. Um, it's a file that you're going to find in Windows 7 and older versions, but it's the file that you also cannot find in Windows 10. And it's the one file that you need to be able to play all these old games. Um, so you're going to download this file and then you're going to put it in your local disk C drive file and then the Windows folder, the system WoW 64 folder, and then in, finally in the drivers folder, that's where you're going to plop that bad boy. Um, so go ahead and put it there and then we'll move on to step two. Now step two, you actually need to do it every time that you want to play your game, every time, like Every time you have to start your computer up to go play a game, you need to do this. And if you haven't, it won't work. So you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to the start button, and you're gonna go to go to power, and you're gonna hit the shift button on your keyboard, and while holding it, click on restart. Um, it's then gonna bring you to a menu, and I believe the menu option that you're gonna want to choose is the advanced system settings. Um, it could be different, and it's something along that line. I don't quite remember what it's called, but it's the one that gives you more option setups. And and yeah, so go click that one, and then your computer will shut down and restart, and it's going to come up to a black screen that has all the boot up options for your computer. The one you're gonna want to choose is called. Hold on, hold on. It is called Disable Driver Signature Enforcement. Click that option and then your computer will continue to boot back up and you log in as usual and you can play all the old games that you want without any hassle or any additional settings. Um, this is how I play The Sims 1. This is how I play... Frick, I have like Clue in the Game of Life on PC from Windows XP. You can play like any game. I played Blue's Clues on it. It's great. <laughs> um, so yeah. I hope that solves all you guys' problems. It took me a while to find out this information um, because all the videos about playing old XP games did not do it this way. So it was very challenging and it took some research to find out how and why to do it. And so I hope this helped you guys out. Give us a thumbs up if this helped. If you're going to use this, comment below if you have any issues. I'm not like a computer genius, but maybe I can help you out. Um, but I'll see you guys later. I'm going to go ahead and also go watch some of my other videos. They're just like Let's Plays with The Sims. So if you like that, go give it a watch. Um, but otherwise, I'll see you guys later. Bye!